Hi, welcome back to the Magic Smoke channel. I'm just uh, adding a bit more video about the Audi XS um, MD18550 battery charger, which is on sale, uh, well, was on sale on Sunday last. And I did a review. If you haven't seen it, then go back and have a look because there's a fair amount of interesting stuff, but it was the first time I'd actually used my utility um, in anger. And... Uh, yeah, there's a couple of things I've noticed since which you might find interesting. It's only a 10 minute thing, so bear with me. So here's the utility running now, and you can see the battery charger up on the right hand side up here. And if we load the test, I've just, um, I think it's that one, yeah. So we're going to do a charge, and you can see up here we're going to charge from 10.4 to 16 in 50 steps. And current of 5, maximum sync current of 5, so that's the battery voltage stepping up. and then once it's charged this is to simulate drifting down from 14 down to 10.4 and what happens to the battery charger so there's a couple of things i missed off in the last video one was the actual termination charge didn't really end until much higher voltage and the i noticed something about what happens with post charge uh, so without further ado let's just run the test um, i've also down in this area here i've put some current inflection part um, measurements so that you can tell what voltage the trans the transition from one charge current to another i.e. at what voltages the battery is considered to be almost charged and, and what they think is an appropriate charge for that voltage so here we go so if I put my finger over there and I press run it goes straight to motorcycle mode which is unfortunate so I'm gonna have to put it into car mode okay so you can see a little bit of um, mess around here where it was in motorcycle mode and switched to car mode. And here's the inflections here. So I'm just going to turn those off at the moment, um, clear them, and then we'll see the transition. So you can see the current and the voltage. Uh, the voltage is racing up towards 12.8 uh, at the moment, and we should see it uh, make a transition. I also changed this as well. Oh, here we go. We've got a transition. The first transition at 13.76. It's gone from 3.77 amps to, to uh, 3.09 amps. And then you can see the rest of the transitions here. So at 14.93 volts, it drops to 0 0.8. And then at 15.26, it drops to 0 0.07, i.e. 70 milliamps. And it's ticking along at 70 milliamps. And this is one of the things I didn't get last time, was that uh, it does shut off at a voltage about to be announced by the system. Uh, it stops charging altogether which I don't think it did but apparently it does so there we go so 15.26 uh, volts it died now it's on the load test and you can see the load coming down and interestingly look the the, uh, the battery voltage dropping to 12 but the indicator up here on the actual battery charge indicator still says fully charged so you walk back in your shed and uh, have a look at your battery and yeah so it's fine it's doing great you know the voltage is correct it's dropped to 11.3 but that is really a completely flat battery so the bar chart is not being updated post charge so that's an important thing to note okay so the test is complete um so you can see the uh the change points here at 13.76 it dropped to 3.09 amps at 14.5 it dropped from 3.09 to 0.8 at 14.93 it dropped from 0.8 to 0 0.07 and uh, at 15.26 um, it went from uh, 70 milliamps to nothing so it finished charging completely at 15.26 volts and you can see on the discharge at 12.77 it cut in with 0.8 amps but as the battery got successively more flat it didn't give anything more than 0.8 amps so really if you've got a load in your shed or a light or something you might leave on you might have a battery being topped up in your caravan if you take out more than 0.8 amps it'll, the battery will get successively flatter and unless you read the voltage up here you'll think hey it's still fully charged um, so that's that these voltages here um, depending on they're quite temperature dependent so this is a an average battery I suppose and I spent maybe an hour last night couldn't sleep <laughs> reading uh, Uasu's, um battery management manual for battery retailers and all about batteries and 
it's about as clear as mud but what is evident now is there's a whole bunch of different batteries available for these um cars that switch off when you're in traffic and they they um sometimes when you install a battery you have to go to the engine system the vehicle management system and instruct it what battery you have otherwise they won't function properly so the old buy a battery and slap it in uh, scenario has is getting uh, more and more complicated anyway so i thought you might find that update so it that's the in a nutshell what the battery charger does and you still need the intervention by hand to press the button to make it into a car battery charger but if you charge it and leave it as a support charge it will support because it did go down to zero at uh, 15.26 volts and it didn't cut back in again until 12.77 in which case it came in with a, a support charge of 0.8 so that will keep your battery maintained so those of you who want to use this for maintenance that's fine but if you want to use it to recharge i.e. you're taking a load of pumps coming on a you know, fish pond or something like that um, then it's not really very good because it never steps in with the big charge on the way back down and certainly doesn't give you the right reading. So that's the end of this update and I um, hope you found that interesting. And